Good morning, this is DW from Florida and I'm changing today the blades on the deck of one of these sit down John Deere tractors, uh, lawn mowers. Um, but I, I'm showing you a quicker way, I've done it before when I never had these tools, uh, but now I've got some tools I want to show you the quickest way of doing this. Now these are the impact drills you can get, uh, this is a Bosch one, I can't remember the price to tell you the truth. I think it was about either 98 or 89 or you know 99 dollars uh, but it's uh, it comes with three batteries the charger the three batteries and they've all got the lights on so you can see if it's a full battery I've used this one already so this is a smaller version this has only got two charge two chargers left uh, I'll probably swap that out just so you can see if you can get it on. Oh, it's also got lights on there so you can work with a light. So that's quite uh, impressive if it's getting dark. Um, if you press that down, pull off. You've got different sizes. So this is a heavier battery, heavier duty. So, and I also bought these uh, impact socket sets. The rest of those pieces are in here. Uh, great little tool bag to take if you're going on a trip journey with your truck, your car. I've used them for the trailer, tire, my F-150 and my F-350. I've also stopped and helped people on the side of the road who uh, were struggling to do tires. Uh, so this little thing is brilliant, especially when you've got the three battery packs with it. So I'll. I'll putting that on charge so what I'm going to do is to change out these blades you need uh, the 15 15 16 15 one uh, forward slash 16 I don't know how the Americans say it 15 15 16 place it on that's that so I'm gonna pause it I'm gonna get showing you what I'm gonna do and then move forward from left Underneath. And we're going to start by just pulling off the pins. So just take the pin off and the washer and keep those on the side. Move along. There is another one just there. Pull that off. Take the and bearing in mind that some of these washers are slightly bigger than the others, but just remember which one goes where. Not that it's going to be a major problem but this one needs a bigger one so that one there so these are the three you may need pliers to pull them off if they've not been taken off before right so that's that that's that side now go to the side taking all the front of this one off actually again Start to take that one off. Can you see that one? Yep. So these, there's just six. There's a six. Uh, sorry, five pins. One, two, three, four, five. So once we've done that, right, we're going to go down to there and. See that wheel, you zoom in on that wheel. Okay, what I normally do is push this wheel, push this wheel with your hand, and the belt comes off like that. Now it sometimes doesn't just drop off depending on how tight it is, but normally it will come straight off. Then what we're doing is we'll lower that all the way down to the ground and then as you can see yep we'll just knock out lift take everything off just lift the wheel up as you can see this comes off we don't need to take it out, just leave it in its place and let it dangle. Just 
lift this up anywhere, the back wheel, just pull off. Yep. And then just push that out and do the same on the other side. Just take it so you can see it. And then again, on this side, all you're gonna do is lift the wheel. Can't do it on my own, actually. Let's see if we can do it like this. Uh, lift the wheel up. Lift this wheel up. And take it off. And there. Now, that will come out. Remember where it goes. But remember when you when you are putting it back on, it's, it turns and adjusts. Yeah, so just leave it where you can. Then you've got just this piece here, there, just to pull down. Now, when you're dealing with these, make sure when you're putting it back in, I'll tell you again, but that has to be facing that way. Because if you've got it the other way around, you're gonna have to take pull the deck back out so then put it right. So now I've done that. So now that deck is free to pull away. So once it's free to pull away, get the wheels. And drag it. Yep. Then I'm gonna lift it. Now you can use these to help stop it from toppling over. It catches. Move some of this yesterday's grass, which would have been nice to have done first. Now, as you can see, this is the easier bit now. I've done a video before, like I said where people haven't got the right tools and I just try to show the basic way of doing it. Uh, so I'm gonna do it now. Get your 15 16 hold this, put your knee against it just so it doesn't fall on. Simple as that. One. Moving the bits out of the way. Hold it gently, hold the wheel. Two. And then the final one, just here. Okay, so then. These are the new th uh, blades, you get three, as you can see there. Um, you go with the blade facing uh, the left side. So there is a, a difference, one's like, this section's raised. That section sinks in. It's a synced in area that goes, is visible. And that goes on there. This comes curved, so it bows. It's rounded there and bows there. So you do the, you put the bow, bowed end or the raised end outwards. So that when it pushes pressure down, Closes better. Now we're taking that going right. And then that squashes, pushes the washer down to make it a tighter fit. 
too. Now this should take you at least 10 minutes, really. 10, 15 minutes at the most, if you're not chatting. That's going to need a new spindle soon. And then this final one at the bottom. Actually, I wonder what it says inside. I've never read it inside. I've just realised there's uh, some sort of instructions inside there, so let's just peel that off. Okay. They can only go in one way. They sit into like a little cog. It goes on. done so I'm just going to pause it there for a second it's funny I've just actually read the instructions here for the first time ever and uh, the video I did where you actually put a block of wood to stop that moving and then you take this bolt off was the correct way of doing it but um, obviously I've just shown you a quicker and easier way using the uh, impact drill just to open and close it but but you just hold that that's not spinning anywhere because it will only spin if you let it go on its own so like that so as long as you're holding it that's not got no force to force it around and hurt or injure your hand if you want to put gloves on put gloves on but as you can see i never found any uh, pressure or tension when i was just undoing that all i did is stabilize this took the bolt off place the bolt back on simple as that um, so that's it and as you can see nice new blades put on and we're putting it back together now again 10 minutes 15 minutes use your wheels push them into place and do you remember what I said about these units here make sure these are facing inwards because once you get that in you can't raise it up because it won't go past the deck so bring that in these are okay because you can take these off and, they'll, and then you can put them back on how you want them so they'll be they'll end up like that but you can leave those hanging down both sides pushing it in Right, and remember it's down, sorry, remember it's still down on the floor at the moment, so that's okay. Uh, and the reason why that's got to be down is just underneath, oops, I'm going to move this, uh, just underneath this unit, let me just press it, can you see, yeah, that bar needs to be low, if you, if that, if this is up here, then that, you've got to lift this to fit on there. You've got to lift this. Um, so you've got to lift this, the whole deck, to try and get that onto that piece there. Let me show you. If I raise it up now. Right, that's all the way up. And look where that is now. 
and you're never gonna lift this deck to fit there. You've got four inches of clearance to get to that or more. So just make sure I push it down all the way. That then brings that in line, sorry, in line for these to go on. So I'm gonna just show you that now if I can. Okay. So that goes back on. All you do is you lift the back wheel and the deck and it sits straight on, it takes the weight. got the metal bar again just lift one of the wheels don't put your fingers under the deck that might hurt and just sit straight on I'm going to take this off here in a second so you can see so again lifted it up sit straight on then you put your washer back on and it's the big washer that goes on with that one and then your pin goes down like so all the way through if you want to tap it down you can tap it down but it's manhandle it's easily easier done and then there's the other bar that i've just put on and again i'm just going to put this washer on and the pin goes straight across like so in and then we just put this back like so just zoom in all we need to do is this and this pin that's that done and then one more on the other side. You see what I mean about this? Uh, let me just make sure you can see that. That bar there, if that bar was on the other side, you wouldn't get it back. It wouldn't go all the way around. So that bar is now going to go there. Oops, I need to put it to say. There we go. Sorry about the positioning. That's on. Washer. Pin. All the way through. And then we've got this one here. And I'm going to just this pause this was something like that I had to lift it in one hand there pin goes at an angle all the way through now the final part is the belt so it's a tripod and then do you remember what I did last time all you do is do the opposite you push, push, and allow it to go off. Now this belt's going to need changing soon because I can see the slack. So that's all on. All you do now is you push down and up. I normally cut about three or th uh, three and a half going down. Or two and a half, should I say, because it's going upwards. Um, I start at three. If it's heavy cut, then I'll go up to four. If it's uh, medium cut, in between, then down to three, and uh, to two and a half uh, to three, depending. Now, as I've raised that up, that belt tension has become it's better. So I'm going to show you that working.
Hi guys. Right, so that's DW signing out, but please subscribe. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever. I do answer questions. I will assist where I can. I've been doing this for about seven or eight years now. So I help people where I can. I answer the questions when I can or where I can. And if I can help, I will do. Um, you know, all this is down to algorithms for uh, YouTube. So if you can give me a thumbs up, I'd be 100% happy and ask questions. You know, ask me what I had for dinner if you want. That's, that's fine. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Quick video, get one of those impact drills because they are actually fantastic. Car tires, anything, you know, it's, it cuts out the hard work with using a wrecker bar to try and, or a big bar to try and uh, break the bolt free. That's a lot easier because it impacts it and it, it's juddering at the same time. So if you can afford one of those, get one. If not, then stick to the old, you know, old videos that I've done where you're just using the um, uh, socket set and working it that way. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, see you on the other side. Take care. Thank you.